Welcome. In this video, we'll explore best practices for building agents in Agent Force, the agentic layer of the Salesforce platform. With Agent Force, we can customize AI driven agents that work across Salesforce, Slack, websites, and third party platforms. Traditional coding requires hard coding every outcome. Agent Force, powered by the Atlas Reasoning Engine, shifts this paradigm, allowing agents to reason and act dynamically using natural language instructions. Before we dive into best practices for writing natural language instructions, it's important to understand the core workflow for building agents with agent force. We begin by identifying the core subjects or topics that our agent will need to understand and interact with to form the foundation of its knowledge base. For example, order management is a topic for actions like updating order status or creating return labels. For each topic, we determine the specific actions the agent should be able to perform. Agent Force provides a range of pre-built actions, and we also have the flexibility to write custom code to define unique actions tailored to our agent's requirements. Next, we associate the relevant actions with their corresponding topics. This mapping ensures the agent knows which actions are appropriate for each subject area it encounters. Then, we provide clear and concise instructions for every topic that guide the agent's decision-making process and dictate how it should respond to related user queries or inputs. Finally, we thoroughly test our agent's actions and reasoning across various scenarios. Paying close attention to how the agent performs, we identify any areas where it might be underperforming or making errors. We refine the instructions until the agent consistently exhibits the desired behavior and delivers accurate responses. Remember that building an effective agent force agent is an iterative process. Continuous testing and refinement are crucial to ensure agents operate optimally and provide a seamless user experience. Let's dive into agent builder topics. When considering whether to create a custom topic or use a standard one, a good rule of thumb is to start simply. It's easier to iteratively build, test, and repeat than it is to troubleshoot many changes at once. In the topics section of agent builder, let's start with a standard topic for common use cases. Click new and select add from asset library from the dropdown. Then edit it to meet the needs of your business. If you determine that you need to create a topic from scratch, select a high-level topic from the list, like general FAQ. After testing, if you find that you need two or more different sets of instructions to handle different jobs, you can split your single topic into multiple topics. Click Finish. The Conversation Preview section is where topic instructions set guardrails for agent behavior and give an agent the context it needs to do its job. Write effective topic instructions in the field, for example, what is the checkout policy, to ensure your agent performs as expected. Next, let's explore some best practices for writing agent action instructions, which tell an agent what your action does and when to use it. Back in Topics, select the topic label for delivery issues. The names and instructions for agent actions and their inputs and outputs determine when and how an action is used. AI agents use a large language model, or LLM. They also use the reasoning engine to search through all topics and actions assigned to an agent and select one or more accurate actions to execute in the conversation based on the user's question or request. Scroll down to view the instructions fields. The most important element of action instructions is a concise natural language description of what your action does, usually one to three sentences written as an instruction to the LLM. Scroll back up to the classification description field, where the description can include the goal or task of the action, any use cases for the action, and the objects or records it uses or modifies. In general, the more relevant details you include in your instructions, the easier it is for the LLM to differentiate between actions. LLMs work best when you use unique or varied language. Click the This Topic's Actions tab at the top. When naming agent actions, instead of starting similar actions with the verb get, Try a variety of related verbs like finalize, identify, and retrieve. When writing agent action instructions, remove or revise non-essential phrases that are repeated across multiple actions. Next, let's create a topic action and see how to better utilize the input and output parameters. Click New again, and select Create New Action. Instructions for inputs and outputs describe how to format and use the parameter. In the window, select Flow as the reference action type and choose Get Customer Details as the reference action. Keep in mind that whenever you create an agent action, you need to make sure the agent action API name is unique 
or else you'll get an error message. LLMs don't have a complete understanding of context, including the Salesforce context. In other words, an LLM doesn't always know the number of characters in a Salesforce record ID or the names of Salesforce objects. Click Next. Concise but detailed instructions help an agent retrieve necessary information and return relevant results. Scroll down to view the inputs and output fields. When writing instructions for them, consider the data type of the information, like a rich text answer. Consider any specific fields or values, such as contains the contact ID and expected delivery date. Think about how the information is retrieved or generated, like retrieving the ID from the user's input or from the conversation history. Consider any special rules for how you expect the action to be used, such as don't generate SQL or SOCWIL, or required only when the user wants to revise an earlier draft. In the loading text field, type getting customer details. Scroll down to view the output section on the right side. Select the checkbox for show in conversation. Click finish when the instructions reflect your specifications. Let's recap these best practices. Remember, less is more. Use instructions sparingly and make the language clear and concise. We recommend exploring flow or apex-based actions over complex instructions intended to achieve the same effect. Start with minimal topic instructions. If the instructions get too complex and you have a non-working agent, try stripping topic instructions. Or consider moving the complex non-deterministic part to a prompt template action type. If an agent is unable to understand a specific business term, define the term clearly and use it consistently. Agent Force closely follows instructions that specify it must, never, or always perform certain functions, which can lead to unintended issues. It may get stuck trying to fulfill a must or always instruction, or interpret a never instruction too broadly. Use such instructions sparingly, and prioritize removing them when troubleshooting to identify the root cause. Action and variable instructions are similar to topic instructions, but they are limited to a specific action. So, nest as much action-specific guidance as possible directly into the action configuration to reduce the complexity of instructions sent to the LLM. Lastly, build sensitive or deterministic business rules into the logic of an action itself, not the topic instructions. To learn more, be sure to check out our other videos. You can also search for topics in Salesforce Help or come join us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.